Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm doing an unboxing of the Great Wall Toys, the Armor Corp 172nd scale RC tank. Let's get started. So I got this RC in Canada. I actually went and visited because uh, as some of you know that are longtime subscribers, I used to live there. I doubt any of you actually stay subscribed that long because I've been back living in the US for a couple years now. But uh, I used to live there and we went back to visit and I went down to my favorite hobby shop and bought this little tank because it was basically the only thing I could fit in our suitcase and I wanted something to bring back. So I had actually gotten one of these with my cousin when we lived in Canada. Uh, it was a different brand, but they're kind of all the same. So here's the tank itself. And then I gotta figure out how to the out for here. So I go to the latch. And that pops out. And here is the controller. I've been getting criticized for calling, calling them radios, which technically they are. They, I think the pro more professional ones submit radio waves or something. That's the right word, submit. Um, they use radio waves. But I'm not totally sure. I've heard them be called radios. So I call them radios. Just kind of a habit, I guess. Here's the instructions. So let's take a look at this controller. So this is a volume adjustment. This right here will rotate this and then forward and reverse, left and right. And I have yet to learn what these do and what this does. So now let's try to figure out how to get the tank out of here. It looks like I have to undo a little screw here. The screwdriver is actually meant for an RC plane I have, but it works pretty well for other stuff too. We are. So there is the tank. Pretty tiny little thing. There it is in my hand. Here's an iPhone 6S. Same size as an iPhone 7. See how tiny that is. Here it is next to computer mouse. So they're about the same size, a little smaller. This is a pretty big mouse though. There it is next to a Tom Bird drawn bobblehead. I bet most of you have one of these. Okay, so now we need to get some batteries in it. So let's see what kind it uses. Uh, looks like four double A's. Got the double A's here, so in. So the reason this little thing uses four double A's instead of I don't know, like two double A's or even two triple A's, is because uh, this controller is what charges the tank. So kind of pops open like that. So there's the cord, and then. Plugs in right in the bottom there. And that light turned on, so I guess it's charging. Well, I guess let's go ahead and start it up. So, little switch in the back here. Oh, pretty loud. So that's how you shoot. So that's not volume. I thought that was volume, but I just remembered slash discovered that's how you make it shoot. I don't think there is a volume adjustment. It's very loud. So let's try go forward, backward, pretty quick. Rotate. Ooh, that's fast. So basically, with the rotate, the way that works is you press it once. There's one way. You press it again. It goes back. And then. These right here are not these gear things. These I do not know what these do. Possibly it's something while the tank is moving. Okay, well, we got left and right. 
Okay, so according to the instructions, this button is a high speed, low speed conversion. So, if I go full speed here, that's. I click it, and full speed. Yeah, it definitely is a little bit slower. Not a huge difference, but it is slower. Well, guys, uh, expect a video of this coming out next Sunday. I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. See you in the next one. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you want more content, subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions about the channel whatsoever, email me at contactrckid at gmail.com. See ya.